You know, this is something that people had made jokes about, but uh, while talking with Bill Maher, of all people, I say of all people because it's so typical, not because it's unexpected. Uh, he, man literally said that the stroke freed him of his progressivism. What are you doing right now, Chase Watkins? Think, there's a line from the first Batman, Joker, he's like, I've already been dead once already, it's very liberating, Fetterman told Marr on Friday. That's not reckless, that's just freeing, it's just freeing in a way. And I think after beating all that, I just really want to be able to say the things that I have to really believe in and not be afraid of if there's any kind of blowback. Literally the Joker. Literally the Joker. No, 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 he, he actually, genuinely is now committed to this bit. The stroke is like an anti-vaccine. So was it the stroke or money? Honestly, it could be the stroke. It is genuinely possible that the stroke played like an effect. Isn't there, isn't there plenty of evidence that brain damage has the ability to um, make a person more like angry, for example? We know that like on a, on a, like a psychological level, conservatives tend to be stupider, more fearful, and more angry. I know that there have been instances of people having brain tumors that alter their brain chemistry and make them more... Um, uh, make them more like angry, reactive, reactionary. Here's the clip. I can't show the video because it's it's Mar, but um, probably the audio. After it happened on October 7th, I was really new that that whole progressive stack would be blasted apart and they're not going to be any kind of way how the Democrats are going to be able to to re reply to that. kind. Because he kind of sounds like he has brain damage a little bit. I know that's I know that could be a little bit like, um, uh, y you know, like post hoc. Like, oh, yeah, of course it does. Like, I wouldn't have said that otherwise. I guess he's always sounded kind of like an oaf. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Kind of a respond to that kind of. Uh, and, and I really decided early on that I believe that was going to be the right side with Israel throughout all of that. Uh, and I knew that would going to be uh, Democrats would continue to peel away and kind of walk away from, from standing with Israel on that. Uh this is John Fetterman, Bill Maher discussed liberals walking away from Israel. This isn't about his brain damage specifically. You gave me the wrong clip, Quoteth. You gave me the wrong clip. Either way. We've seen a ferocious sir. Sorry about the audio, Fox News autoplays. Why does it autoplay, you might ask? Well, that's a great question. Is this one of those scratch a liberal moments? I genuinely think that it's a mixture of the stroke and of uh, money and political corruption. He's wearing his fucking hoodie and shorts over here too. Man, that bit got old, huh? Marr then asked him to explain what he meant when he stated last year, I'm not a progressive, I'm just a regular Democrat. Of course, John Fetterman literally advertised himself as a progressive beforehand. Remember, John Fetterman has lost a bunch of his campaign team and staffers because they all campaigned with and worked for a progressive candidate. And now he's this. You know, I, again, part of it, I think, is the brain damage. Um, a lot of it is also money. Man is definitely getting a lot of money or a lot of pressure from outside. This is fully like a corruption in politics thing. I think that as more time passes, we're going to see more evidence mount that he is um, compromised. So, you know, there's that as well. Didn't he get in a car accident right after doing this interview? Maybe we should stop making excuses for him. Are we making excuses for him? Is that what we're doing, no wonder? Literally, like, right after this interview. Right after this interview. He got in a car accident. It's gonna make him a juchist. Bosh, genuine question, I never got this. If I take a ton of money for a campaign, why would I do whatever they gave me money for? They already gave me the money, so, like, why? Well, it's more complicated than you think it is. First of all, money that goes to a campaign can't legally be spent on personal stuff. So money that goes towards a campaign isn't the same as money that goes towards you personally. Uh, there's favorability that needs to be taken into consideration, like I scratch your back, you scratch mine, where you help them get elected in exchange for, like, I will now help you with these business causes and not hang you up in Congress or, like, go after your opponents or support your opponents or whatever else. And then there's, like, the promise of future returns. Then there's the accusation of bribery. And then there's... Like, like, there are so many things that lean into that, you know? It's it's complicated. It's a repeated game, yeah. We'll, we'll probably see, like, evidence of corruption in the future, you know, for now. Anyway, like, he, get, he gets in a car accident right after going on TV and saying that brain damage changes politics. So we'll see if this makes him, you know, if this improves him. This is why I think this is going to end his re-election bid, even with the APAC money. He's too aggressive and kind of embarrassing. He is embarrassing, yeah. I don't understand what the, like, he can never be as Republican as a Republican, which means that he's not going to, like, win the majority of the Republican vote. But he's also not, like, you know... <laughs> He's not exactly a rep for the average liberal. The average liberal doesn't like this shit. Please remember, by far, like, 
80% of Democrats want a ceasefire, whereas Netanyahu, not Netanyahu, whereas uh, Fetterman is running around with an Israel flag as a senator of the United States screeching about like, you know, no holds barred, let them kill them all, whatever. No limits on this guy. So this guy isn't like, it's not like he's moving towards the moderate liberal uh, 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 position or whatever. He sounds fucking insane. He's not in line with the average establishment dem, Wabajack. Not, e not, not even a little bit. To be clear, too, Fetterman's staff departures have been top to bottom, not just bottom rung workers leaving its top aides, too. It sure would be cool if something like this would ever happen to a Republican uh, politician where they would campaign on being super far right or whatever, and then they would get into office and they were like, ah, sorry, I was a fucking Maoist, haha. <laughs> um, but it never does because capital always pushes people in one direction, you know? Very unfortunate. According to Open Secrets, Fetterman has received a quarter million from pro-Israel PACs. Yeah. Wait for, uh, wait for re-election to come about, man. It's gonna be even more. It's gonna be a lot. It does happen, but only on very specific issues like Jeb Bush on drugs. Yeah, but that's not like what Fetterman is doing here. That's not really comparable. This, like, massive fucking frame shift or whatever, you know? The closest thing that I can think of, honestly, and it's still not the same at all, would be, like, John McCain trying to block Obamacare but then his last move as a senator was having a heel turn and single-handedly protecting it. That was pretty funny. Curious how Ben Shapiro was talking about him now. I gotta say, after the last coverage of him, I'm not curious about anything Ben Shapiro was doing. You know? I gotta say. Cooked? I wonder if they have something on him. I mean, do you think APAC has, like, a video of him fucking a toddler? Genuinely, like, what the fuck? Like, the turnabout was so fast, you know? What level of desperation... Jesus. I mean, that's what Epstein was doing. That was the whole fucking bit Epstein was running. Somebody has to fill that game. You think po you think all the whole political establishment is going to give up on the time-honored uh, tactic of get dirt on people in power? Fetterman frames his seismic shift as stances he's always had, which his brain damage simply allowed him the freedom to embrace. Ah. Exactly. Nature abhors a vacuum. Maybe they had a photo of him wearing a suit. Yeah. That's a tactic that Mossad and the CIA have done, right? Yeah. Mossad still does that, man. They, uh, they keep tabs on, um, like, gays in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip and get informants out of them by saying, like, hey, man, sure would be a shame if fucking Hamas learned that you like dick, you know? Do you think Epstein was Mossad? No, because I'm not, like, a literal neo-Nazi, which is the group of people who would believe that because, like, Epstein's Jewish and for no other reason? Why would you believe that? RFK Jr. should take Fetterman as his running mate? They would be a good pair. I agree with that. Epstein did work with the Israeli government and Mossad extensively, up to former Israeli Prime Minister uh, Ehud Barak being a, his Lolita Island. Yeah, but he worked with a lot of people is the issue. You know? Like, he had, he had connections all up and over the place. Uh, I, I, think, I think Epstein was on Team Epstein, personally. Like, did he do work with Mossad? I'm sure he did work with a lot of fucking people, right? Like, that's the whole point of, of him doing what he did, right? That was the whole, that's, that's why you position yourself in that place. So anyway, to summarize everything, uh, John Fetterman is paid off and has brain damage. Nice. Good, good cap off. Good cap off there.